What's up guys and gals, this is Interface. Follow me on all these social media, like, share, and subscribe. What's up guys, this is Interface, and I'm about to talk about something that people don't really talk about or even know. Recently, I've been wearing headphones a lot while on either the computer or laying down and listening to music while listening to headphones. So one of the dangers is obviously the headphone dent. On the top of your head, you would have a headphone dent if you wear headphones a lot. A lot of gamers experience this. But there's something else that people don't talk about or even know because it's a little bit more rare, but it does happen and it started happening to me. I immediately realized what was happening and it's cauliflower ear. So I've been wearing headphones while laying down a lot. So that's putting extra pressure on whatever ear I'm laying on. And my ear was beginning to get red and more, more swollen. And I realized that like my ear was either getting affected or something. I didn't really know why. And there was like a little bump on one of my ears. And I realized like, oh, this is a sign of cauliflower ear. Now it's preventable if you catch it early, which I did. And you immediately have to ice the area or drain it if you're in sports. This is something people in sports usually experience. Like if you're playing hockey a lot and you're wearing a helmet or if you're playing uh, football, or of course like UFC if you're getting um, hit in the head a lot and your ear is getting hit and wrestled around. A lot of those guys get cauliflower ear all the time. Along with gym people, people that go to the gym a lot. But people wearing headphones while gaming, that's not normal obviously. But it does happen and it is rare, so I'm here to tell you guys about it. So I woke up, my ears were hurting like crazy. And they were like swollen. And I was like, oh. And I took off, I fell asleep wearing my headphones. And I took off the headphones and yeah, my ear was showing like the very, very beginning of cauliflower ear. I had a little bump on um, both of my ears, but in different spots. And um, that is, I believe, a like small blood clots. So this differs from people to people, obviously, because some people are more prone to this than others so maybe i'm just more prone to this but either way don't take the chance while gaming a lot because you do not want this to happen uh people don't like cauliflower ear and every time i see somebody like a fighter having that it's not very appealing um so i immediately iced it for i think like uh maybe like 45 minutes to an hour and then the bumps usually went down. I still have one bump that never really went away. But the, all the swollenness and the redness went away completely. So my ears look basically normal again. Except for this one small spot where I would wear my headphones and like fall asleep a lot. So it's putting extra pressure. But from what I understand, it can actually happen to you just by wearing headphones, period. Like gaming or listening to music all the time, watching movies and a lot on your computer so this is a, a warning to people to you may want to change your the way you're hearing stuff from headphones to earbuds earbuds have a different problem which is it causes ear infection sometimes and a lot of earwax build up so you have to clean out your ears a lot but you're not going to get anything permanent like cauliflower ear and cauliflower ear is something I really don't want and I guarantee you don't want it either. And it's not cool if you're not a UFC fighter or whatever, right? The solution to this is wear earbuds or another solution if you don't want to get ear infections is wear a uh, neck speaker. So neck speakers are speakers near your head. But I would recommend getting a wired neck speaker if you want to deal with Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. If you're scared of that, which I kind of am, to be honest, that's another thing people don't talk about. For me, earbuds are the choice. I can always, you know, clean my earbuds and my ears every now and then. But uh, another thing, of course, I think I mentioned already is hair loss. So if you wear headphones a lot, you're putting a lot of pressure on the top of your head. And any pressure on the, on the top of your head uh, will cause hair loss in that spot. Even something as light as headphones. Now, I experienced this uh, way back when, when I used to be a break dancer. So, a lot of break dancers were complaining that after doing head spins, with, we used to use helmets, right? Very cushioned helmets with padding in it. 
But even that wasn't enough to stop a lot of hair loss. I went in that, that extra mile and put usually put a towel inside, like fold it up. Guaranteed not due to age, because this would happen within a year, maybe two years to a lot of guys on the breakdance forums. And they will all be like, look at my hair loss in the same exact spot, right? Within one or two years. And they were in their 20s. So this isn't like an age thing. Hats may cause hair loss, but I guarantee headphones are a lot heavier than hats. So if you don't want to experience hair loss, do not wear these headphones. And of course, the headphone dent is real too. People wearing headphones all the time while gaming. Uh, you see a giant dent in the middle of your head. That's because you're putting pressure on top of your head. Remember, the, the head is still soft, even if you're an adult. It doesn't stop when you're a baby, like they used to say. The headphones really, really soft. So any type of pressure could cause that. So solution, guys, is... Well, first off, beware of this. Um, you don't want this happening to you. And the solution I'm giving you guys is wear earbuds. Good old-fashioned earbuds. And I would recommend wearing wired earbuds. And I'm talking about the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, good old fashioned, and just buy extension cords. Um, because uh, a lot of Bluetooth headphones, it, they give you a lot of warning where they say it causes cancer. If you read the labels, and I don't think you want uh, any type of brain tumor or a cancer in your head, <laughs> as we all don't want, right? Just buy a bunch of 3.5 millimeter extension cables. They come in crazy sizes. They I used to have one that was a hundred feet, uh, I think like a hundred feet or seventy-five feet. They, they they go extremely far. So, um, but what I recommend on top of that is buy just buy a bunch of like three footers because um, the long ones, if you buy them, they're probably way more expensive. And the three point, the, like the three foot slash six foot um, wired three point five millimeter or earbud jacks, um, they go if they break, you can always just replace one, you know, and they're very cheap and you can get them in a lot. So, uh, I hope you like this video guys, be aware this is a thing, and I took pictures of my ear, right now I'm using um, all these AI photos, and I can't find the pictures of my ears, um, where it was clearly happening because of these headphones, 100% guaranteed. I was laying down a lot, um, listening to music for maybe one hour, maybe two hours, and, and then I'll get up and put headphones on again, and that was cutting off the a lot of blood circulation to my ears and that was causing my ears to literally slowly but surely move into cauliflower territory and I was at the very beginning stages so I realized this after I don't know a few months of wearing headphones and of course it takes longer if you're not a fighter because the reason that fighters get it is because they're getting extreme blunt force trauma into their ears and they're getting you know wrestling around and wrestlers experience cauliflower ears that's why you see a lot of olympic wrestlers with cauliflower ears so be aware of this guys this is a problem and nobody's talking about it you don't want to get this because uh i'm sad to say once you get full cauliflower ear there's no turning back there's there's no surgery that can really make your ear look the way it used to look um and you're gonna be even if you get surgery one it's gonna cost a lot of money especially if you're in the u.s it never looks the same. It, it will still always be puffy and and not look right. And you don't want that. That's very appealing to both men and women. And you don't want that. So take heed to my word, guys. Please buy wired 3.5 millimeter earbuds. That's my recommendation. And don't end up like me at the very beginning stages. Thank God I caught it early. And then my ear went back to normal quickly after icing it repeatedly i did for like 45 minutes to an hour and then i'll let my ear you know rest after a while because it gets extremely cold with the ice packs and then i'll do it again and then slowly but surely my ears went back to normal and you don't want this happening to you so hope you like this video guys if you like this video and this was informative to you please like share and subscribe that's all for today guys. This is Interface. Follow me on all these social media and if you like my videos, like, share and subscribe.